What's happening everyone? My name is Hayden. In the last few years I've been selling for four and a half, five years now. I've done over 1.4, 1.5 million. I mainly do unique bundles. I also do private label. I do a lot of online arbitrage as well. I've got UK and USA store. In this video I want to tell you about how I find my keywords for my unique bundles and also I found them for my private label, label product this way as well. So let's find some keywords for private label and unique bundles in 2024 in this full in-depth tutorial using Helium 10. Now, if you want to sort, if you want to get Helium 10, cheeky little link, 20% off below for six months. Let's dive into the video. One, we are now inside the Helium 10 dashboard. Now we are. And as I say, in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how to find the keywords. This is how I do it for my bundles. This is how I do it for my private label products as well. Uh, and I'm going to show you right now here. Let's go live. Well, it was live when I did it. It's not live when you're watching it, is it, obviously? Um, silly old me saying that. So let's pretend that you want to launch a similar bundle to this. Okay, now the quickest way uh, you can actually do this is grabbing the uh, ASIN. Now, this you won't usually see this on Amazon. This is actually BuyBot Pro, which I use as well. But let's just say we want to figure out where this seller right here is getting all their keywords from. We want to find the best keywords that is going to cost us the least in PPC, but also give us the most potential to rank. So what I do is grab that. That, whack that in there and click get the keywords okay so you're gonna have a great couple of minutes just for this to load up well a couple of minutes couple of seconds there we go that's all loaded up there and then what we're gonna do is start filling in this uh, this this sort of dashboard here for the keywords now with the word count here what I usually do is put two because like for example if we were sourcing these these are wipes for hay fever but no one's going to find it's too generic just to say wipes for example so you want at least two keywords it's like hay fever wipes or wipes hay fever you know allergy wipes something like that at like hay fever is too broad wipes is too broad so i usually put a word count of two minimum just to make sure that you know we're, we're seeing keywords that are actually more hyper relevant and I, I bang on about this a lot but hyper relevancy is not talked about enough on amazon hyper relevant keywords it's no good having a list of un, you're going to cost so much more money for yourself uh, it's going to take you so much longer to rank if your keywords are not hyper relevant okay so that's what we're talking about in this video as well search volume now this depends for a lot of private label stuff we're not interested in low search volume necessarily but for bundles um, also not talked about enough is that you could have a hundred keywords that have only got 50 search volume and you could still have a really successful product I've, I've got many bundles that I've launched I haven't got uh, much search volume but all the keywords combined that have only got 50 to 100 search volume together end up being a lot of search volume and equaling a lot of sales so I put the search volume here is around about 80 right so some that's low, right? But if you've got 100 keywords that are all at 80, trust me, that's a lot of search per month. So that's what we do if we're looking at bundles. A little bit different for certain private label products, obviously. Um, but yeah, we're going to do for the for, for, for the most part here. We're going to do for the, for the most people, not the, the, the small minority that that won't be enough. Looking at organic rank here, I put an organic rank of maximum 60. And the reason I put in maximum 60 there is because that's the first couple of pages okay so this is going to show us uh, all the keywords that have got a minimum search volume of 80 word counts minimum of two that are ranked organically in the first two pages there pretty much because organic rank max number 60 click apply filters and we've got 92 92 filter keywords there the first thing I do is scroll over to the organic rank because what I'm interested in more than just seeing the search volume, although it's important, is I'm interested in the organic rank because this, to me, just shouts relevancy. That's not telling me this is an organic rank. It's telling me these products are super these keywords are super relevant to this product and you need to use them. That's what it tells me, not just organic, right? Sound a bit nerdy saying that, but it's true, right? It's This is organically ranking number two for this keyword okay so's this so's this so these three are like our killer keywords right and the next stage i then want to have a look at the search volume because it's no no good being hyper relevant for search volumes that have got like one a month or two search a month this has got 5860 searches per month and this is organic rank number two so if we can come in, right, not necessarily saying this product's going to be profitable because it's a very low price point, but if we could come in with a similar offer to this or better off improving this offer, then we've got a really strong likelihood that we're going to be able to rank for the same keyword. And this has got 5,866 search, which is fantastic, right? 
but the next thing we've got to do is check the competition now the first thing i'm looking at is the results wow so this has got over 5,000 search and it's only got 69 results showing up that means you are competing with 69 people for essentially over 5,000 people walking past your center all selling similar stuff right every single day let's just imagine it was a real life scenario there's 5,000 people walking past your center like your shopping center you've all got similar products you've all got similar shops but there's only 69 of you right the likelihood of someone finding you is quite high right and getting a percentage of that pie so that's what we like to see the next one we do is get helium 10 up again this is why this tool is so essential right make sure you grab it below with the six months off if you're going to try it there's no point in paying the full cost for it I'm going to apply the filters here and ignore the fact that it's copied them four times over. That's an error on Helium 10. That yeah, I just need to uninstall it, install it again. It won't be if you get the tool. 131 searches there. Uh, sorry, 131 sales there for this product, and it's got review count of nine. So there's nine reviews, and they get 131 sales. I'm then going to have a look at some other reviews down here. So this one's getting 14 sales, and they've got zero reviews. Wow. This one's got loads of reviews fair enough there's always a couple of big ones this one's got 22 reviews and they got 332 sales in the last month now this isn't everything guys the next thing i little have a little look at is the creation dates so if if someone's created these products recently there we go 2023 so they've they, they've recently they've got hardly any reviews and they're getting a good amount of sales that shows me that it's very likely that I can come into this market as a new seller with hardly any reviews